Welcome to Discover Daily by Perplexity, your AI-curated digest of breakthroughs in tech, science, and culture. My name's Ali. Today, we're exploring how aspirin might be a powerful tool in the fight against cancer. But first, let's look at what else is happening across the tech and science landscape. Microsoft is making moves to diversify its AI strategy beyond its close partnership with OpenAI. The tech giant is developing its own AI models, particularly the MAI family, which have shown promising results in recent tests. These models are being considered as potential replacements for OpenAI's technology in Microsoft's Copilot AI assistance. Microsoft's MAI models have performed nearly as well as leading models from OpenAI and Anthropic on commonly accepted benchmarks. The company is also creating its own AI reasoning models comparable to OpenAI's, designed to handle complex queries and display human-like problem-solving abilities. This shift in strategy comes under the leadership of Mustafa Suleiman, who joined Microsoft last year as the head of its AI division. Suleiman, co-founder of DeepMind and former CEO of Inflection AI, has been instrumental in pushing for greater independence from OpenAI. Microsoft is not just focusing on in-house development. The company is also exploring collaborations with other AI companies like XAI, Meta, and DeepSeek. This diversification aims to reduce reliance on open AI and maintain a competitive edge in the rapidly evolving AI landscape. While Microsoft remains a major investor in OpenAI, this strategic move signals a shift in the dynamics between the two companies. It raises questions about the future of their collaboration and the potential impact on existing products that rely on OpenAI's technology. Moving on to our second story, a graduate student at Penn State University has refined a century-old mathematical problem in wind turbine aerodynamics, potentially advancing wind energy science and turbine design efficiency. Divya Tiagi's groundbreaking research, published in Wind Energy Science, presents an amendment to Hermann Glauert's optimum rotor disk solution from the 1920s. Tiagi's work offers an alternative mathematical approach using calculus of variations and provides analytical solutions for thrust and bending moment coefficients. In other words, Tiagi's new method gives clear formulas for measuring how forces affect structures, making it easier to understand than previous approaches. This comprehensive mathematical model provides a more realistic depiction of turbine dynamics. It expands on Glauert's original focus by incorporating total force and moment coefficients acting on the rotor, as well as how turbine blades bend under wind pressure. Tiagi's research introduces a novel approach to solve for optimal flow conditions, recovering Glauert's original distributions for axial and angular induction factors. Her work also reveals finite, non-zero values for thrust and bending moment coefficients as tip-speed ratio approaches zero. More simply, Tiagi found a better way to figure out how wind should flow through turbines, while also showing that even when turbine blades are barely moving, they still experience forces that can push and bend them. The practical implications of this refinement are significant. Even a 1% increase in power coefficient for large wind turbines could translate to substantial gains in energy output, potentially powering entire communities. This advancement could lead to more efficient turbine designs and increased energy production from existing wind farms. Now, let's dive into our main story of the day. A significant study from the University of Cambridge, published in Nature, has uncovered how aspirin could play a role in preventing cancer from spreading. The research reveals that aspirin enhances the immune system's ability to target and combat metastatic cells. This breakthrough not only highlights aspirin's potential as a cancer-fighting medication, but also paves the way for creating more precise therapies aimed at halting cancer metastasis. Aspirin's cancer-fighting potential stems from its ability to decrease thromboxane A2 production, a clotting factor produced by platelets in the bloodstream. Thromboxane A2 normally activates a protein called ARHGEF1 in T cells, suppressing their ability to identify and eliminate metastatic cancer cells. By reducing thromboxane A2 levels, aspirin effectively releases T cells from this suppression, enabling them to recognize and attack cancer cells before they establish metastatic tumors. Dr. Jay Yang, one of the researchers, described this discovery as a eureka moment. 
To demonstrate aspirin's effectiveness, researchers used a mouse model of melanoma. Mice treated with aspirin exhibited significantly fewer metastases compared to control subjects. This reduction in cancer spread was directly linked to aspirin's ability to prevent thromboxane A2 from impairing T-cell function. Professor Rahul Roy Choudhury, who led the study, emphasized a critical therapeutic window of opportunity when cancer cells are particularly vulnerable to immune attack. This finding could be crucial in developing targeted therapies to prevent cancer metastasis. Building on this research, the Adaspirin clinical trial aims to determine if aspirin can stop or delay the recurrence of early stage cancers. This trial follows previous large randomized controlled studies that unexpectedly found lower cancer mortality rates among daily aspirin users. But aspirin can cause serious side effects in some individuals, including bleeding and stomach ulcers. Researchers emphasize the importance of consulting a doctor before starting any aspirin regimen. Looking ahead, this discovery opens up exciting possibilities for future cancer treatments. Researchers are exploring the potential of aspirin or other drugs, targeting the thromboxane A2 pathway as more affordable alternatives to antibody-based therapies. As metastasis is responsible for approximately 90% of cancer-related deaths worldwide, this breakthrough could lead to significant advancements in cancer prevention and treatment strategies, particularly in addressing the critical early stages of metastasis. That's all for today's episode of Discover Daily. Before we conclude, a brief note on our evolution at Perplexity. Our new deep research feature, launched earlier this month, now analyzes hundreds of sources in minutes. Think of it as deploying a personal research team through our web and mobile platforms. This cutting edge tool combines autonomous reasoning with rapid processing to deliver exhaustive reports on specialized topics. Deep Research excels at expert level tasks across various domains from finance and marketing to product research and is available on our desktop and mobile apps. Thank you for listening and for your fan mail. We'll be back with more stories that shape our world. Until then, stay curious.